herself. Dream, the Loba reveals herself. She came to hunt me down, carried down ladder, trust like game herself, and then set free, a hunted turning hunter. She came to stone labyrinths worn by her steps, came to the awesome thunder and drum of her name, the Loba mantra echoing through the flat flagstone walls, the footprints, footsteps of the Loba, the Loba drumming. She came to hunt, but I did not stay to be hunted. Instead, would be gone again, silent children in tow. She came, she followed, she did not pursue, but walked patient behind me like some big, rangy dog. She came to hunt, she strode over that worn stone floor, tailgating, only a step or two behind me. I turned to confront, to face her, ring of fur setting off the purity of her head, she who was to have devoured me stood strong, patient, recognizably goddess, protectress, great mystic beast of European forest, green warrior woman, towering, kind watchdog I could leave the children with, mother and sister, myself. To finish, I would like to read by the way, happy solstice, it's right now. I would like to read from my notebook, little part, two parts of Loba that are quite recent. They're just small pieces. At the moment, there seems to be a whole lot of stuff that I wasn't planning, which happens all the time with this poem, happening in the poem, which is like, um, it's a whole bunch of almost monologues by different mythological people. I have two pages that Persephone said one day begins and must have return again to that cold hell uh, and so on. And then Helen has a quite amazing, not at all what you think Helen would be saying, the thing that she said. It's Eloise arrived one day when I was looking at a painting from the Metropolitan Museum of Art and it's totally a page, not a lot. But what happened most recently was he sold. I was at a uh, most bookstore looking at pre raphaelite painting and there's a drawing by William Morris called Isolt on the Ship and she's leaning all her weight on the mass. You know, at that point, she's going to Tristan, who's dying. And actually, the other Isolde betrays her and tells Tristan that she isn't coming. This ship is supposed to have a flag to signal her arrival. The other Isolde, who's with Tristan, says there's no flag. And Tristan dies before she gets there. But she's on the ship. It's like she's throwing all her weight into getting the ship there fast. And you really feel that heaviness and pull. Is there other time than too late? When we wake enough to recognize time, is it not always then too late? Does the beloved's breath still miss the mirror? What balances at the turn of sundown? Dream within dream within dream. Exquisite as milk open, smeared with blood, yours and his. While the worms work in the hollows of your face, while the clouds fly across the wailing moon. How sails, strain, mast creaks, this rain cold as his kisses. My thin wrists strain to tie me to this ship, which it arrive, which arrives. Does it arrive in time? That is, too late we recognize this ship. His fierce arm carries me across thresholds of water. He does not wait. Too late we recognize sin. We, that we live misguided, we die alone, it might be. The waves reach salty, well they will not have me, unless they have us both. We engage, oarless, in one more race. We beach, breathless. This wind will tangle our hair, graveside. This shore rocks more than the ocean.